Hi friends. Corporate Governance at Martha Stewart Living Omnium Media Not a Good Thing. The case opens with Martha Stewart's 2005 release from prison following her conviction for obstructing an insider trading investigation of her 2001 sale of personal stock. The scandal dealt a crippling blow to the powerful Martha Stewart brand and drove results at her namesake company, Martha Stewart Living Omnium Media MSO, deep into the red. But as owner of more than 90% of MSO's voting shares, Stewart continued to control the company throughout the scandal. The company faced significant external challenges, including change in consumer preferences and mounting competition in all of its markets. Ad rates were under pressure as advertisers began fragmenting spending across multiple platforms, including the Internet and social media, where MSO was weak. New competitors were luring readers from So's flagship publication, Martha Stewart Living. And in its second biggest business, merchandising. Retailing juggernauts such as Walmart and Target were crushing So's most important sales channel, Kmart. Internal challenges loomed even larger, with numerous failures of governance, while the company attempted to turn around. This case can be used to teach either corporate governance or turnarounds. Thanks for watching this video.